Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so first vlog in the new flat, which is going to be continuously in the new flat, <laughs> in the my flat, the flat that I own. Yay! Um, so I apologise, obviously the setup is probably going to change a little bit um, as things get done. Um, as some of you who have watched my vlog for a while know, I do tend to film a little bit in bulk, so um, you might find that several vlogs are with the same kind of setup and then things will suddenly change and then things will suddenly change again. Um, I don't yet know exactly how long going to take to get everything nice and sorted and not have ladder in the background. <laughs> but there we go. Um, so yeah, for now, this this is just how things just going to be set up. Um, so I hope you guys can can sort of understand that, you know, new, new flat needs decorating um, and decorating isn't going to happen overnight and I film in bulk. So yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so this vlog is supposed to be about um, setting life goals. So obviously this kind of follows on from the last one, which was about moving into my first home that I own. Home ownership. Um, because becoming a homeowner was the goal that I'd set myself um, to complete before the end of this year. <laughs> didn't, didn't quite think it would happen before Easter. Um, this is being filmed on Easter uh, day, by the way, in case you guys are wondering the exact time frame. I've been living here now for a week. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That tells you everything you need to know. Um, so, <laughs> now my brain needs to think things. Um, so obviously, wanting to become a homeowner wasn't something I just decided I was going to do at the beginning of this year. Um, obviously, it's taken me a couple of years to save up the deposit that I needed and stuff like that. So, it was definitely a life goal that I'd set myself um, in terms of the life goals I, I currently have. Um, it's the, the one that's the most complete at this point in time. Um, the other ones have been uh, are things like becoming a published author, which I am a published author, uh, but becoming a successful published author, which is the, the bit that I need to work on. Um, things like starting a family and, and, and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of these things are goals that I kind of set myself upon finishing um, university um, over 10 years ago. <laughs> um, and as I said, this is the one that is so far the most complete. Um, and it's the only one that I've actually got to the point where I'm kind of like, yeah, you can't say that I'm not a homeowner. Um, I don't necessarily own a house. That is a target to set myself for the future. Um, because again, when you're sort of setting yourself life goals there should always be the next stage the next step to it it shouldn't be just the kind of okay this is a, the big thing that i want to accomplish and once i've accomplished that there's nothing afterwards i think the importance of having life goals is to sort of continuously motivate you through through life and, and you know, keep you having something that you want to achieve that you want to do um, just because you've achieved a dream doesn't mean that you should stop dreaming. Um, and this this was actually a pretty amazing dream for me to have accomplished at this point in my life, um, considering everything that's gone on the last few years. Um, and the fact that I, I can't... Um, well, I, I, see, I'm not quite a full-time worker, I'm not quite a part-time worker. Um, just because of like the weird number of hours I work and I do like a four day week and stuff like that. So it's a bit confusing as to whether I should classify myself as being full time or part time because some places technically I'm full time and some places technically I'm part time. So it's, it's yeah. Um, 
in terms of goals, as I was saying, you know, having to having achieved this one, um, yeah, that's 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 a major step. That's you know, that's something that you know it could have taken me another ten years to sort of do, but I'm glad that it's happening now, and I'm glad that it's happened in a way that it has. And I'm excited about uh, trying to get this place looking the way I want it to look. Um, I've already started doing bits and pieces towards that. Um, I'm taking photographs on my lovely phone at the moment, um, just like for different stages and different steps and different things that have happened. So I've not been here for very long. I had the boiler replaced because I had to have the boiler replaced because the boiler wasn't working, so I had no hot water. <laughs> um, so as, as you guys might know, I moved in last Saturday. Um, and I got the hot water back on Friday. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've been having very, very shallow baths, um, filled with boiled kettle water and <laughs> cold water to make it <laughs> bath like, but they've been like baths about that deep and surprisingly refreshing. Surprisingly refreshing. Um, but it's nice to actually have hot water. Um, my mum put the shower screen up yesterday, so I actually had a proper, proper shower rather than trying not to get water all over the room shower, which is what I had yesterday morning. <laughs> it's great. Um, but now I'm just like concentrating on like the home ownership, which is, you know, the dream that I've achieved rather than, you know, talking about setting life goals for yourself, um, which is what I kind of want this to be about. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I think it's important to set life goals and to keep updating and shifting the goalposts. Goalposts? Mm. Keep updating and shifting the goalposts of the the things that you that you have and the things that you want to achieve because you as a person are constantly evolving, so your dreams should evolve with you. Um and they should grow with you and they should, you know, as you achieve parts of it or as you achieve um, goals that you've set for yourself, you should be constantly setting yourself new goals. So wanting to be a published author, well, I've achieved that goal. Wanting to be a successful published author, that's the next bit. That's the bit that I've got to work on. That's the bit that I've got to figure out. So it's, it's about that. It's about learning to evolve. It's about learning, you know, that every, for everything that you achieve, there should be a next stage, there should be a next step, there should be a whatever else. Um, so in terms of the home ownership one, which is I guess the one that's most prevalent on my mind at the moment, um, I've achieved the goal of being a homeowner. I own this flat. The next stage is to get this flat into a good state, make it into a home make it into a home that I can live in for the next few years and be really proud of and be really happy with, um, rather than this sort of new to work state that it's that it's currently in. Um, so yeah, as you can see, that's me evolving the goal. That's me evolving, you know, the, the target that I set myself. So I've achieved the first bit. So now I need to turn this property that I own into a home. Uh, so if I, I own a home and pick a property, um, which I am genuinely looking forward to, I'm genuinely really excited about. <laughs> and then, you know, after that will come, well, you know, five, six years from now, I might look to move from owning a flat to, to owning a house. And that's, you know, it might be another 10 years before I actually reach that point, but that's the next stage after making this home. Um, but obviously I want to live here for a little while because I like I like having roots. I like being planted. And I keep saying to my girls, this is this is their forever home because you know, jobs don't live that long, so they're never gonna move again. Which is a really sad thought. <laughs> but it's true, this is their forever home. Do you know what I mean? I'm happy about that. I don't I don't want anything sad to happen to my girls. Um so yeah, as I'm trying to get across, you know, the, the idea that you set yourself a life goal and then once you've achieved that goal, that's it. That's nonsense. Your goal should constantly evolve and constantly progress and 
as you get older and, and wiser and figure out more things that you want and more things that you like and more things that you don't like, you know, having that continuous evolution there, having that continuous, you know, there's always something else that I can achieve, there's always something else that I can do um, there, I think becomes more and more and more important. Um, I can't necessarily say, you know, what all my life goals are ever going to be because I don't know. Um, at this point in time, um, my current life goals are to turn this flat into a home um, and to really kickstart my writing career so that I can become a successful author. Um, and then stuff to <laughs> Um, not necessarily all those things in, in that order, but yeah, those are my those are my current life goals. Um, obviously speaking, you know, starting a family might have to be postponed until certain other things happen or not necessarily happen. Um, especially with this fact that they it's one person flat. If it's one person or it's a couple flat, it's not a it's not a family flat, not you know, as it is at the um, but you know, it's not, as I said, that's not necessarily the next life goal that I'm going to accomplish, um, it's, it's a life goal that I have, is to start a family at some point, it's just a continuous life goal that I've had, um, <laughs> which, you know, took a major, major hit in the possibility department when the ex decided he did not want to be with me. <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm a resourceful person. I'm a very resourceful person. And as I said, you know, life goals will happen as and when they happen. Um, and they always need to evolve and they always need to have that room for growth and, and steps and the stages and, and stuff like that. So right now I'm trying to concentrate more and more on what I can achieve. Um, rather than worrying about the ones that are going to take a bit more time because you know, certain things will happen as and when they happen. Um, so at the moment I'm focusing on the, the immediate goals, which as I said are turning this lovely fact into my first home um, and getting my writing career on track because being a published author is, is not enough. You, you have to put in that level of work and try to make yourself a success. Um, so fingers crossed that that will go the way I want it to. <laughs> and she says, um, right, okay. So I think I've bubbled just about enough as I can bubble with that right now. Um, uh, the next vlog will be about family. Um, I think this might be a writer one rather than an actual one, or it might be a bit of both. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, so you'll tune in next time to find out how I've decided to play this next one. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.